What's up everyone, Fellow Winitachi here, you know what it is, thank you all very much for tuning in to Pokemon Quest, and uh, this is the mobile version, um, it is very, pretty much the same when it comes to the Nintendo Switch version, which I hope to switch over to, no pun intended, very soon, because now I can stream back on my PC, and I have my Nintendo Switch connected to my PC, however, I wanted to make this guide because all the videos I have done so far on Pokemon Quest have been on the mobile device, and most people do play Pokemon Quest on the mobile device when they're on the go. So without further ado, let's go ahead and open up the user interface. This is a user interface guide for those of you who don't read my goddamn titles. But other than that, uh, as you guys can see on the top left behind where it says live with one person viewing, sadly, uh, you got the location that you're currently at. And mine currently says base camp. And if you were to click on the bottom right hand side, that'll take you to another location, which is called expeditions. Let's go ahead and head back over to base camp. Below that, you will also be able to find your expedition bonus, and what this is, is every 10 odd expeditions that you do, uh, you will be given a little po uh, point in your experience bar, which you guys can see I have three more points to go ahead and do, three more expeditions to do, and then once that has been filled up, you will be automatically given a legendary gem, which I will be talking about in a later video. Um, and how that works and stuff, but you'll be given a legendary gem for completing an expedition. That's your expedition bonus. On the top right hand side, you have your Pokemart, which you can go ahead and click on, which will go ahead and toggle things like your daily PM tickets that you can receive, additional content that you can purchase with real money, decorations that you can purchase, which I'll be going over in a different video, as well as box expansions, which increases uh, Pokemon storage and gems or stone storage. Next up, you got to the left of that, your battery, which I currently have 6 out of 6, it is full, that means I can do 6 total expeditions, and you have to spend PM tickets to recharge it, however it does recharge every 30 minutes. Next up, bottom left, you got decorations, these are the decorations that I've currently already purchased, and you can go ahead and click on them, put them anywhere in your base camp, and I will be going over that and how to do that in a different video. Bottom, super bottom left now, uh, you got your actual options. Next up, you have your, to the right of options, uh, your current quest, which goes ahead and shows you uh, the main quest that you can do, as well, uh, which are your main achievements to do, and basically challenges, for those of you that play like MMORPGs, these are kind of like your dailies, but they're not really dailies, they last forever, they're just things that you can just keep redoing over and over. They do get a little bit more difficult every single time you complete it, until there's a max out. Next up, on the middle, you got your whole table pamphlet of your current Pokemon. So how this works is you'll have a red, green, and blue square, which are the three Pokemon that you can currently have in your party. I currently have two, which is Florian and Pikachu, which is I'm doing something related to only those two guys. Um, above that, you have a number that says for me, 2,708. That is my current Pokemon team score with my Florian and Pikachu currently in it. And if you want, go ahead and click on edit team, which will toggle pretty much everything that you need to do for uh, your Pokemon class team. Here you'll notice where it says on the top left, edit team. I've got currently a close range team because I'm currently using Pikachu and Flareon. Um, basically, you can go ahead and click on that. And it'll bring up details on the current Pokemon that are with your team. You can check out their movesets and all that type of stuff in their gems. Um, you'll also see your team total score, which it does show for me, 2,708. And then, of course, the red, green, and blue square, which uh, go ahead and toggle with me the, uh, the actual Pokemon that are currently in the party. However, you can go ahead and drag those Pokemon to your Pokemon box or drag them back to your team. Next up, if you click on any of the Pokemon, whether they're in your box or in your party, uh, it'll go ahead and show you their level, their HP, and their attack. Uh, whether they are close range, which you can see Rapidash has the close range uh, icon to the right of HP and attack. And then if I went to shelter, it has a long range uh, icon to that. On the top right hand side, it shows you a color, like a little bubble, that shows you their typing. Shelter is blue, meaning water. Rapidash is an orangish red, which means fire. Um, Alakazam, it has a pink, which means psychic, and so on and so forth. As you guys can see, to the right of Shelter, which is this level 36 
thingy over here, um, you'll notice that it says 7 out of 20. That means my box is currently 7 Pokemon full out of the max of 20. And again, Pokemart, you can go ahead and increase that. Uh, below that, um, you can either post it by level, or by newest, or by HP, or by attack. And uh, I currently have it set to level because that's just the easiest way for me to recognize which Pokemon I'm currently using and what, uh, which Pokemon I currently want. Um, bottom right and left arrows in your boxes means that you can toggle from box to box, but I don't have any extra boxes. I'm currently only using one. Uh, of course, the bottom right, there's a return arrow, which means it'll return you back to your base camp. And then uh, let's go ahead and get back into that because we're still not completely done here. And then last but not least, you can, well, there's actually not last but not least, there's two more things that you can do here. Go ahead and let's click on, let's say Flareon. I can go ahead and click on training. And you can do multiple things here. I'm not gonna go into complete details. That's another video. But let's say I wanted to use Flareon for some training. I can go ahead and drag some Pokemon that I really don't want into the, um, and you cannot use a support Pokemon. In this case, I uh, currently have Pikachu on my team. Put all the Pokemon that you want in the supporting Pokemon air location, which are the Pokemon that you'll be getting rid of. Not going to go into the details, but you can currently level up your Pokemon or use move learning. So either or. Let's go ahead and get back out of there. Last but not least that you can do with your edit team is power charms. These are absolutely important into the game of Pokemon Quest. So let's go ahead and check out this interface. As you guys can see, I'm currently toggled onto Flareon. Shows the level, the HP, the attack, and it currently shows that it's a melee Pokemon. Um, I have two moves, Takedown and Flamethrower. And all of these to the uh, bottom of that, these are little gems that you get from completing expeditions. And they basically boost up HP as a Sturdy Stone or attack as of a Mighty Stone. And some of them have little um, extra perks such as healing or HP upon recovery and so forth. Um, as you guys can see, I currently have a ton of stones already being used, and uh, I currently have 22 out of the 40 slots. I did purchase an extra spacing for these stones, and uh, basically, that's all the stones that I currently have. You can use auto set, which would auto set specific stones to specific Pokemon. Um, it's exactly if you wanted to uh, um, remove a Pokemon from your party, just grab a stone, add it to the... Um, Add it to the box, or you can drag that back onto play. And of course, it also shows which Pokemon currently has each and every single given stone. Now, there's stones also used for moves, such as Weightless Stone, Whack Whack Stone, Broadburst Stone, Scatter Shot Stone, and so forth. You can put these ones in the actual move slots of specific moves to so go ahead and basically let's say for example which is currently what i've got for flamethrower move wait time percent is in decreased by point uh by 5.0 i can either toggle on or off an everstone so it's currently now toggled on which you guys can see on the right hand side up towards the upper right hand side um everstone when it's toggled on allows none of your pokemon to evolve i keep it off because i want my pokemon to evolve i don't see why you wouldn't um, I can go into complete details by clicking up on that magnifying glass on my Pokemon here. And then uh, you can also toggle your gems by strength, HP, attack, move, new, and so on and so forth. You can auto set, like I said earlier, or you can recycle gems. Recycling, pretty much, you'll turn that on. You can go ahead and click on a gem, recycle it, and you'll be given cooking reagents. And that is pretty much it for editing your team. Next up, you have your expedition toggling but before we get into that I'm just basically going to show you my campsite or my base camp uh, basically I have a bunch of decorations set up around my base camp here and then in the middle we have a cooking pot which gives us uh, or basically attracts Pokemon to my base camp you can do a basic cooking pot bronze cooking pot, silver cooking pot, and there is also more difficult cooking pots that I have yet to unlock. And what that means is it needs requires more ingredients in order to cook, which I'll be doing in a different video, so stay tuned for that. And last but not least, let's go ahead and hit up Expeditions. And this is where you actually play the game. So over here, toggle to the left, you can see Expedition 1, which is first step, which I have completed all of them. 
and uh, it's basically the ones with the Pokeballs are all the ones that I've completed, and then the ones over here that you guys can see they have like Boss Boss 9-5, 10-4, those are the ones that I'm currently working on. Let's go ahead and use this last one. As you guys can see, my current team is 2,708. The current recommendation for 10-4 is 12,100. Now if I was using my full team, I'm probably roughly around 6,000 to 7,000. But it's a recommendation if you're decently good at the game, you can sometimes exceed expectations in this game. So do not worry about that. And there's also bonus typing and stuff like that. So that's pretty much it for your user interface guide. Thank you all very much for tuning in. Catch you guys in the next episode. Peace.